Today's topic, Sean Evans. So he's apparently dating a woman who's a prawn star. Uh, it became a really big public story. Um, it's actually been known for quite some time that they're dating, but after the Super Bowl became even bigger because they went to the Super Bowl together. So uh, a lot of people felt some type of way about him breaking up with her after receiving all kinds of comments about the fact that he's dating a prawn star. One person was wild. Dude. Hey, Sean Evans, you know what I'm not feeling? I'm not feeling you breaking a sex worker's heart on Valentine's Day. Nobody deserves that. Melissa Stratton, she's a beautiful woman. Yes, she has chosen to have sex on camera for her career. Yes, she has had 13 inch in and around her face, mouth, possibly I don't know. I gotta go search it up. But you are playing with her heart. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> Shaisa. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Well, this is how it started. They were at the um, Super Bowl, and then the point picture comes out of them two together, and then Adam 22 is uh, post right above. <laughs> now, saying that about someone's girlfriend is wild. But, but he's not talking about your girl. He's giving a Google review. She does scenes with dudes. Dudes review her poom poom. Adam twenty two does scene with women. He's reviewing her poom poom. There's no just, difference. I was just making sure because I I'm like this is a mad comment to me, especially if all the normal ideas of how a relationship should function between a man and a woman kind of go out the window when she does adult scenes with other people. Same thing for, for a living. Same thing for a man. It has nothing to do with a woman. It's just like if you do adult <laughs> stuff. It's not the same thing. If you have a weird relationship, you're going to have weird responses to that relationship. That's a normal thing. To me, it's not a big deal. That I like, wouldn't date. Is, is he being flagrant on purpose? Yes. Yes. Adam 22 is in his phase right now where he's doing the most inflammatory stuff and the most debaucherous things very publicly to get a lot of people riled up and then people cover it and then he makes money because more people sub to the OnlyFans. It's, it, listen, outrage bait right now is the way to make money if you do adult content. The women are doing it. The dudes are doing it. Adam 22 is jumping on the train. So this is what that is. <laughs> now. <laughs> jumping on the train. Choo-choo. With that being said. <laughs> that being said, some people are getting mad at Sean Evans for breaking up with her with all the backlash that's happening. So let's hear why. Here we go. Donkey today for Friday, February 16th, goes to the co-creator and host of an amazing show called Hot Ones. Yes, I'm talking about Sean Evans. Drop on the clues bombs for uh, Hot Ones. Okay, I, I like Sean Evans. I've done Hot Ones before, fantastic show. He's always shown me love and respect. But when there's an opportunity to have a teachable moment via Donkey of the Day, I must use it. And today's lesson is about peer pressure. Okay, I've gotten on this radio and told y'all over and over and over again that most people wake up every day and don't even know how to feel. They literally go on social media and look at what everybody else is saying and then they base their opinion on whatever the majority of people are saying about the person, place, or thing being spoken of, okay? In 2024, most people don't have feelings, they have narratives, okay? Y'all sheep don't know what to feel and this situation is an example of that. And that's why I'm disappointed in this situation because I don't know Sean personally, but he's never struck me as a follower, but he allegedly broke up with his star girlfriend because she's a swallower. Yeah, the fact that that rhyme disgusts me. No, no. But I'll concede. No, no. It was I'm a good one because I didn't see it coming. I'm going to give it to Sharla. Go, Sharla. Do your thing. Uh, that's <laughs> that's a scratch. I don't watch no, that. No, he did good. good. I appreciate uh, it. Let's move past you don't, you don't appreciate it? No. I appreciate it. All right, you're a swallower too. Let's carry on. That's not what I said. That sounds why like you it got, is. Why you got to be wild like that? Why? Also, according to TMZ, they traveled everywhere together and even attended the Super Bowl together because she's a huge Kansas City Chiefs fan. Oh, you like to like Deshaun. If you're spending money on Super Bowl tickets, okay, because that's her favorite sports team, you like that woman and that's fine, okay? Star past or not, if you like a woman, then you show that woman you like her. Okay, we know physically why you like her, as she's described on as a smoking sexy brunette with large, firm boobs who loves. As I found out this morning, she's got a verified account on. Okay, first video I saw, the title was Melissa Stratton in the sloppiest, spittiest scene you ever seen. Suffering succotash, Sean. Okay. What was that? That scene name was crazy. I don't even think that's a real scene name, but that's funny. No, I think it is. Photos from the Super Bowl. Okay, it's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> nah, nah, B. 
You yeah. took her to the Super Bowl, and that's fine. But the reason I am giving Sean Donkey today is because Melissa tweeted about her experience at the big game with Sean Evans. And I guess at some point, pictures of them being seen together at the Super Bowl went viral, and people started saying they was a couple. Sean apparently couldn't take the pressure of that, so he dumped Melissa on Valentine's Day because of the media attention over their romance. This is what Page Six and TMZ are saying, according to insiders, okay? According to insiders who spoke to TMZ, they said Evans wanted to keep his personal life private. The relationship took a turn after Stratton shared photos from the Super Bowl. Okay, the adult performer was said to be surprised by the media personality's decision as he was fully aware of her job before they began dating and i agree and that is why we are here today i understand you sean wanting to keep your personal life private but i do not understand you breaking up with her because people found out you were dating a star who cares if that was a big deal you wouldn't have wiped her in the first place okay you wifed her that's a wifed big her. that's a big statement sean. yeah according to Pull yourself the they started dating at the end of the year which Come February 13th is less than two months ago. That's not. Wife term? That's not. That's that's wild. Y'all act like these people was dating for years and then he just did it out of the blue. Not that it really changes that much considering the circumstances, but that's not what happened. Calm down. Wife term? That's a big statement. God damn. That's where are big... we? Iraq? What do you mean? Meter wifer? <laughs> Meter wifer? That, that's how it is over there in them countries. There are no dates. There's hello, hi, my wife. Now three children, please. Brother, sister. While fresh and fit, just pearly things, and every other loser in the red pill space are taking L's, we want you guys to get some W's with today's sponsor, Surfshark. You need a VPN changer in your life. I know that because you like to be outside just like me. You book hotels and this and that. First, it's a known fact that if you change your location uh, for your flight tickets, you get better deals. Yeah, so by booking your flight tickets from a different location, you're going to be able to have a better deal uh, on your flight tickets. What's more, some content is gated based off your location. Why shouldn't you be able to watch the TV shows and the movies you want to watch? When you got a subscription, you should be able to see it all. Just changing your location with a VPN allows you to do so. And the wonderful thing is that Surfshark right now is sponsoring us and is helping us for this video. And you just click on the link below, okay? And you add the coupon ABBA and PREACH and you're going to get three months free. The wonderful thing about Surfshark is that it's unlimited devices. So no matter how many devices you connect on it, there's no limit. You can connect one and another one and your mom and your sister and your father and all of them devices on the same VPN. And it's not going to charge you one thing, one penny more. So if you click on the link below and enter coupon ABBA and PREACH, you're going to get three months free. 30-day money-back warranty. Get it. <laughs> let's, let's keep it on it. That's why Sean reached out to her in the first place. He wanted to bust a hot one in her mouth. Okay. Yo. <laughs> <All right. laughs> this is crazy, like. <laughs> Charlotte's having a field trip. Yeah, yeah, she's enjoying he, this one. He's having a field day with this one. Yeah, good for Charlotte. <laughs> and if you like having fun too, we got our second channel, I have a preacher on the floor, where we busting hot ones all over the screen. God damn. All right, go check it out. Yeah. All, you want to laugh? All the funny videos going over there. We busting hot Put ones all over the screen? Go whatever you got to do, whatever you got to do to sell the channel. <laughs> Sean, she was who she was before you got here. You are 37 years old, Sean. You way too old to be falling victim to peer pressure. Mm -hmm. I know you understand the internet, and I know you understand how the internet works. I know you understand how the internet is wired. You can't let the social media savages win. These people are relentless, and they don't care about your happiness, Sean. If you was happy, that's all that matters. Okay, listen, <laughs> listen, Sean, I can understand you not wanting to deal with that, but you should have known you didn't want to deal with that before you started dealing with that. I, I just, I don't understand this notion. You should have known before you got involved with her. A lot of people don't know what the life is like. Some people think they're more open-minded than they actually are. Mm. I know plenty of women who thought this one bad boy dude was gonna be the best thing in the world and turns out, oh, it's just drama and insanity the whole time. Mm -hmm. I know plenty of ladies who wants to get with a quote unquote high value man come to find out him having other women is too much for them to bear. Mm -hmm. I know plenty of dudes who think they want crazy, they get with crazy and they're like, oh, she wants to key my house. How do you key a house? I don't know. Just, but she wants to do that according to her words. You just put the key in the doorknob and then you go in. No, no. It's when you take the key and you literally go on the outskirts of the house to just key the whole thing. You think you want something until you have it. You think you want BPD and you can handle it until you go through it. <laughs> then you like, oh, this is crazy, crazy. Like, not like what they write about. This is really too much. A lot of people think they can deal with a situation until they get deal with the, 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 the situation get dealt. I you, a lot of people can Every deal with the situation until dildos. <laughs> That's what I thought you was gonna say. <laughs> a lot of people did this. 
A lot of people can <laughs> think they can deal with a situation yes. until they Okay. And that's a fair. That's a, no. That's a bar. Okay. I'll allow it. I, I, you came up with that bar in my opinion. because <laughs> I was inspired by your stuttering for a second. There. Okay. But yeah, it's it's like you don't know everything that goes into the situation until mm. you get in it. Until you get in the dirty, dirty. Yup. I want to do this comic. How many people you heard say I want to be a comedian? Come to find out, no. You just want to be famous. You don't want to write jokes. You don't want to deal with all the work that has to be done. There's a lot of people, even people in my family. Oh, what do I do to be, what do I do to become like, um, you know, to do social media and stuff like that. And I talk to them and then they realize what kind of work it, <laughs> you got to do. They back off. You don't hear about it. That's the same thing for a lot of situations. And the thing is, until it was all over TMZ and he was getting messages from everyone he knows about it. It probably was just feeling like a regular relationship. Like, not, here's the though. thing. Some ladies will date a drug dealer, okay? And it feels regular. Until? Until he calls you from jail. Mm. And then it hits different. Dating a woman who does adult scenes feels the same. Until you start to hear things or you see the scenes yourself or you Google her name. Then it hits different. Is it abnormal? No. I think... He got his first sense of what it like to date a woman like this, and he's like, I don't think I can handle this. You know what apart you know Also, what? the last thing I'll say on this, he only knew her for three months. Maybe he just wanted to bang and have some good times, take her out. Oh, he took her to the Super Bowl. Who cares? These you know how much money this man makes? For him, going to the Super Bowl is like y'all going to a regular season game. It's not that special. Believe it or not, a lot of people go to these events, they have so much money to spend, and I know the dudes who make hot ones that make so much money from what they do for work, he can afford that shit. And so he didn't do anything <clears throat> crazy. He didn't put an engagement ring on her. He didn't buy her a house. He didn't do none of that. He took her to the Super Bowl. It's not that big of a commitment thing, in my opinion. He just wanted so. some hot arm candy, and he went there, and then it became a big thing. He's like, whoa, mm -hmm. this is not worth the press. I don't want to be known as a guy who's dating the girl who does adult scenes. More so... Some of these people at the at the level that they are in the public uh, in the public eye, they get invited. It's crazy the amount of shit I've been offered that I can pay. Yep. Even you guys, when I go in a bar in a club and you see me and you're like, "Yo, can I pay you a drink?" and I'm like, "Man, I can't afford a drink. Mm. I, I can't afford a drink now. It's when I was broke, I would have used I, I used a, I would have used a drink. You know what I mean?" So these people, sometimes they get invited. They got booth. They got purse. So sometimes it's just like, hey, I got invited to the Super Bowl thing. You want to come with? They're not even spending all of that. So you have to take that shit in consideration. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, whenever you go into these weird situationship, the perks come first. Like, all the perks of the situation of, like you said, you're dating a, a drug dealer. The money he has. All the this and that and the, the access to jewelry, the access to connection. It's gonna come first. Yep. Then the police gonna come. Yep. Then you gotta hide. Yeah. Then you gotta you. So it's it's when all that shit hits that it, it kind of becomes difficult, yeah. and you kind of you kind of question everything that comes into you know. It, you want to date a dangerous man until he becomes dangerous with you, but that's danger at the end of the day. How many rich guys do I know who like to take hot arm candy to big events? That's it. Okay, all of us got a pass. Every woman alive got a pass. Every man got a pass. Okay, it's just that majority of women's sexual pass. Most of our sexual pass aren't titled, viewed, and liked on. I mean, big breasted brunette, South Carolina game. That's pretty straightforward, Sean. Okay, you knew what that was, but you buckled to the mob anyway. Okay, you did something your ex girlfriend never seemed to do, and that's run. I mean, she was taking it in every imaginable from the stuff I saw. When I saw the guy put it in her left ear and uh, asked her, Can you hear me now? I said, Oh, she's a professional wow. professional. Yes. Listen, the moral of the story is people. Stop falling victim to social media peer pressure. Do what makes you happy, regardless of what your social media feed says, okay? Always remember the words of the legendary Bruce Lee. I'm not in this world to live up to your expectations, and you're not in this world to live up to mine. Please give my guy, Sean Evans, the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. mm. As you over there throwing up, Jess, I didn't know what you were throwing up, but I, 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 was, I, I assumed it was the morning sickness. Yeah, but okay. like, it's also the description. You're talking about butt, like, you get certain things you can't even hear when you're pregnant. <laughs> like, yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> I would have enjoyed that if I wasn't pregnant. But it was like, whoa, oh my God, yo, no, please. <laughs> why are you saying, why are you so descriptive? I'm just reading the titles off. These are actual titles of the videos. I didn't make none of this stuff up. My thing is, like, why, why would he take it to the Super Bowl? You took it to the Super Bowl, right? He liked it. Yeah, I get it, but you took her there. Somebody would, you know how many people there watch? Yeah, you're right. They probably would have been like, hey, Melissa, <laughs> you, Melissa from the, and then what would he have done? <laughs> that is true.
<laughs> that, is, that is a weird choice. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> no, she got a point there. You know how many people they watch? And the way she said it too. I don't know, man. My girl, you, I would give it to you. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think this guy is deserving of all the criticism that people are giving to him. He thought he could handle something. He couldn't. He broke up with her. Big deal. And here's the truth. A lot of you guys want a partner who's going to be socially well seen. And it's not just about you and your partner. A lot of us want our families to appreciate the woman that we're with. A lot of us want to have somebody that we can take out in public and that, you know, in terms of public scrutiny is going to reflect well on our brands. It's not abnormal for people to think that way. Now, not everyone does, and that's okay. But for the people who do, it's not a bad thing. And, you know, some people have social images they have to upkeep. Like, I'm sorry, as progressive as I can be, dating a prawn star for your social currency is probably not the best thing. And for a lot of brands, they don't want to be associated with it. People will literally lose endorsement deals if their partner does adult stuff because from a brand's perspective, it's just bad for them. Char Charlemagne said something really interesting. He's like, yo, don't be like, <clears throat> don't be... Don't be don't don't follow to the social media and stuff like that. Don't don't be a follower and stuff like. Do what you feel like. Maybe what he felt like was not to be with her. What then? Let us know what you guys think in the comments below.